We have Maslin here to talk about CI/CD for Dataflow with Flex Templates. So everyone can give him a round of applause. Thanks. Uh, good morning, uh, good afternoon, everyone. Today I'm going to, to show a full CI/CD pipeline uh, with Dataflow Flex Templates. Uh, we firstly show uh, the CI/CD uh, for Java SDK and then an example for Python SDK. The, the tools for the CI-CD, the first tool is uh, Cloud Build. We will use Cloud Build with the serverless approach in Google Cloud to show this full CI-CD pipeline. Then um, uh, we will show uh, the same uh, concern and the same CI-CD pipeline with GitLab CI. Uh, and at the end, uh, the same CI-CD pipeline will Dagger I.O. I will explain later in the talk uh, what is Dagger I.O. Uh, firstly, uh, let's introduce myself. Uh, my name is Maslum Tosun. I come from France. Uh, I work for Group Biz, is a freelancer group in France. Uh, we work with expert and cloud data and API management topic. Um, I also um, have, I am active in, um, for example, in social media. I have a dedicated YouTube channel uh, to share my knowledge with uh, Google Cloud. Uh, I also uh, created an um, open source project for Apache Beam to help the community. Uh, also, I help the Google Cloud and Beam community in Stack Overflow and publish some articles on Medium. Uh, feel free to follow me if you are interested, interested by my content. Uh, about Flex Template. Flex Template is a very interesting concept because it allows to, to have a standardization for the deployment of our data flow job. Uh, it's based on a Docker image. Uh, for example, if we don't use uh, a Flex Template with the previous approach, for example, with Java, uh, we have to generate a fat jar, copy this fat jar to a cloud storage bucket in the context of Google Cloud, for example. And for Python, uh, we have to, for the previous way, you have to copy the Python modules and files to GCS. And uh, uh, we have to install uh, the, the context uh, to be able to launch the data flow job with Python. And for the previous uh, manner is not a uh, st uh, uh, standard way to, to do that. Uh, with uh, Flex Template, we have the same direction, the same way, and the same standardization to, um, uh, from a Docker image to uh, uh, deploy our uh, template and our data flow job. Then we will launch the same command line with jcloud. Uh, for Java and Python. Uh, uh, we will also need to, to pass uh, different parameters for Java and Python, but the commands are the same. Uh, whatever the language, the way is the same. And also uh, an interesting thing, with a Docker file, we can prepare and install all the dependencies inside the container. Uh, no need to install some element from a local machine, for example. Flex template is also based on a JSON configuration and JSON spec put in a cloud storage bucket. Uh, to, uh, to talk about the advantages of flex template over classical template, uh, a Docker image offers uh, a more flexibility because uh, we can uh, uh, install almost everything in a Docker container. Uh, classic templates requires a, a, a value provider for uh, uh, input parameters. And uh, the, the issue, the problem with that, uh, some IOs are not compatible with value provider. And uh, uh, for, for flex template, uh, no need to pass uh, by value provider and every IOs are compatible with flex template. Uh, also an element, a classical template have, uh, has a static graph for the job, but flex template can have a dynamic graph 
and we can, for example, change uh, the input uh, connector from uh, some input parameters. And it offers more flexibility in this case. In this schema uh, is the, the first use case I will present in a demo after. Uh, we have at the left side the artifact management in Google Cloud, its uh, artifact registry. Um, in this example, uh, I wanted to show two approaches with Flex Template. Uh, with Flex Template, we can have a Docker file and install all the, the, uh, the dependencies inside the container, is, is this approach and the first approach. Then I will show a second approach without a Docker file, but we can generate the Docker file with the flex template command. Um, to be honest, when I uh, read the documentation, uh, it was not very clear for me when I, I will use a Docker file or not. That's why I wanted to show the two approaches to the community today. Uh, for the, the CI part, we have Cloud Build, that is a, a serverless tool to, to, um, to apply CI and CD. Uh, in this case, I will launch unit test with Maven uh, with Cloud Build with an automatic trigger. An interesting way, uh, um, uh, detail. Uh, we can launch cloud build job from our local machine if needed, uh, but uh, we can also use uh, uh, the triggers. Uh, we can instantiate triggers, and from Google Cloud, we can launch the triggers from the Google Cloud console. In this example, I choose to use the uh, trigger approaches. When uh, we push some modification to the GitHub repository, because Cloud Build can target to a GitHub repository. When we push some modification to the GitHub repository, an automatic trigger will be performed by Cloud Build to launch unit tests. Um, the, the deployment part in this case is based on a Docker image. We will install all the dependencies inside the container uh, here. Uh, then Cloud Build will create the spec file in cloud storage, uh, the spec file to be able to launch uh, the templates. In this example, the flex template command will only generate the JSON spec file and will not generate the Docker image at the same time. Uh, for the last trigger in this schema, we will run the data flow job from cloud build Sometimes we can use some orchestration tool like Airflow to, to manage our pipelines, but for simplicity in this example, I choose to run the job directly from the CI-CD tool and Cloud Build. For this, uh, this second schema, I have the same concern for Artifact Registry here. I have Cloud Build and GitHub for launch my unit tests the CI part, and for the deployment part, uh, I will use the flex template command without a Docker file, and the flex temp template command will generate my Docker file and publish it in Artifact Registry. A single command to do the two things. In this case, we don't have a Docker file, that's why uh, Cloud Build will generate a fat jar and then give this fat jar to uh, the second step to be able to generate the uh, Docker file, the Docker image, and the flex template at the same time. This is the second example of this use case. Um, to, to give all the, the tools, the first way. It's with a Docker file in all the, the dependencies insta installed in the container. Run unit test with Maven, create the spec file in cloud storage. The second approach with Cloud Build, run the unit test, build the fat jar with Cloud Build, then uh, generate 
the spec file and the, the image at the same time with the same command. Um, then, uh, the same use case for Python SDK. With Cloud Build, we will launch unit test with PyTest. Uh, but for Python, uh, for this talk, I decided to, to use only the Dockerfile approach because uh, I think it's more adapted for Python um, uh, for, uh, to prevent some issue for environment to launch the job. I prefer uh, install all the package directly in the Dockerfile and to launch the templates and the data flow job after. Uh, the, the approach after is to use another CI-CD tool, uh, GitLab CI in this case. GitLab CI has the advantage to be graphic and to be interactive. Uh, we will launch the unit test. Then uh, for GitLab CI, uh, it was not possible for me to use the second approach with only flex template command to generate the Docker file, because in the context of GitLab CI, I am in Docker, and I build a Docker image inside a Docker container, container Docker in Docker. And in this case, uh, uh, we need to use a dedicated tool to do that. For example, we have Canico that allows to, to build a Docker image from a Docker container. Uh, for Cloud Build, uh, that's why for Cloud Build, I'll only use the approach with a Docker file and all the packages and dependencies installed the container. We will then create the spec file. The same uh, use case for Python, unit test Canico and the spec file. And at the end, uh, we will show the, the same pipeline, but with Dagger. Dagger is a tool created by the, the creator of Docker. The advantage of Dagger is to, instead of use YAML for the CI-CD logic, we can use a, a programming language like Go, like Python, like Node.js. And it's, I think it's an interesting approach because with the code, we can more easily apply logic, error handling, or other. I use Canico in this case because Dagger depends only on Docker, and for Docker in Docker, Canico works well. Uh, I will go to the, to the demo, and I will share with you my command line. I have the Java project. I have two projects here, the Java project and the Python project. I will zoom the code. In my readme file, I prepared some command line to instantiate my cloud build triggers. I have my first command line to instantiate the trigger to launch unit test with Java. Uh, the same to um, deploy the flex template with the Docker file and all the dependencies in the container. The same uh, without a Docker file, and a trigger to run the data flow template and the job. Uh, I will jump on a Cloud Build and zoom a little bit my screen. I go uh, to the dedicated page on Cloud Build that contains all the triggers. I previously created a, a, a repository. I connected Cloud Build to my GitHub repository. That's why uh, there is here uh, the link to the GitHub repository. And uh, I will launch the, the first trigger to execute the unit test. It can be automatic, but in this case, I can also trigger it manually. I have the, the run button here, and I run my trigger. After uh, uh, triggered the, the job, I can go to the history from Cloud Build, and uh, my unit test will be, uh, will be launched here. 
while waiting the job to finish, I will, go, I will jump to the code to show you the YAML file with Cloud Build dedicated to unit test. I have the data flow run test here. With Cloud Build, Cloud Build is based on YAML. With Cloud Build, um, we can write some steps. Each step is from a Docker image. Here, I only need to have Maven, uh, a Docker image from Maven. Then I launch the MVN test command to launch my unit test. Simple in this case. Um, uh, I choose for this example to have a different YAML file per trigger. It's a choice. Can also have other logic with the Cloud Build. Um, I will go to my unit tests. Uh, and to save time, I will launch the first approach with the Docker file, then we'll show the code. Uh, I have uh, this uh, trigger, Dataflow Java Docker file here. I will run the, the trigger that will deploy uh, the Docker, publish the Docker file to Artifact Registry and create the, sp the spec file. I have some substitution variables here and run my trigger. I go again in Cloud Build. The unit test is finished. We have uh, 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 finished to launch my unit test with Java and Maven. Uh, we have uh, the result here that indicate me that the test is correct, are correct in this case. Uh, while waiting the deployment to finish, I jump to the code to show the approach with the Docker file. I have uh, this Cloud Build YAML file to deploy my Docker file to Artifact Registry and create the only create the flex template with the flex template command. Here you can see my Docker file. For Java, I have multi-stages with Docker. I have a first stage from Maven. I build the fat jar and, in, and, and create the fat jar inside my container. I skip test there because no need to execute the, the test twice uh, to save time. Then I create a second stage uh, in my Docker file is the official Docker image for Flex Template with the Java 11 version. Then with Docker, I can copy an element from the previous stage to the second stage. With this syntax, I can uh, use the alias here build, and from the fat jar generated from the first step, I can copy this element to the working directory of the second step in a target, for example. Then I give some required parameters to flex template. I need to give the main class for the, the beam and data flow job and also the Java class pass. The Java class pass here is my fat jar, self-containing in this case, and uh, I execute the entry point and my Docker file is okay in this case. I go again in the Cloud Build file. With Cloud Build, I can execute uh, some uh, bash script and shell script. I will concat two shell script in this case, and I pass some environment variables with Cloud Build, and uh, some elements are provided by variable substitutions, when I created the triggers, I passed some substitution variables. Then I set these variables to environment variables. And I will go to uh, the, the script. I have the build image with Docker file. In this case, it's simple. I can use the gcloud build submit command. Uh, I pass the, the pass to 
to publish the image to artifact registry with the jcloud command. Then my second command to go to the code is create flex template spec file. Here, I have this command. This command will only generate the spec file and not generate the docker file, as I explained before. Um, I pass the name of my spec file, the, the path of the image, the SDK language, in this case, Java, and I pass also the meta metadata file. Uh, I created some environment variables with dir env uh, in for, for my uh, local machine. And for example, for the metadata file, I have passed these parameters. I pass uh, a metadata file from my project, can show you the metadata file here. The spec file in this case is uh, with JSON. And uh, with flex template, we can validate uh, this element before to launch the template and the job. And I think it's interesting in this, in this case. Uh, I think it's okay for the code uh, from a Docker file. I go to my step, cloud build. I uh, uh, build the image to artifact registry and generate the spec file to GCS. I can go to artifact registry to show you the built image. Um, to save time, I will launch the other approach without a Docker file and Cloud Build. I have uh, the deploy Java here. Uh, sorry, I will. I think I firstly will run the job. I will run the job with Java. I have this step with Cloud Build run uh, run Dataflow template Team Leak Java. I run it, and then I will show the other approach. I will open the Dataflow page, uh, Dataflow here. I have my menu, Dataflow. And normally, uh, my step will instantiate the template on my Dataflow job with Java, based on a Docker file. Uh, okay, to go to the second approach without a Docker file, I have this YAML file uh, and uh, I execute execute this script. This script will generate the Docker file and the spec file at the same time. And to be able to do that with flex template command, uh, I need to pass um, I need to pass parameters. I have the flex template base image. I need to give the flex template base image, and to go to flex template base image. In this case, the base image is Java 11, and the flex template will deduce that the ima image is Java 11, and then uh, will uh, generate the Docker file and publish it in artifact registry with this command and create the spec file at the same time. Um, OK, I go to data flow. I refresh my page. My job is currently running. Uh, the graph is being to be created. Um, okay, I run. I will run the other approach. Maybe to save time, uh, I will jump to GitLab directly uh, and then launch uh, this uh, trigger uh, for GitLab. Uh, Firstly, I will go to Python, sorry. <laughs> Python with Cloud Build. For Python, I have the, the same concern for Python. I have 
a script to run my unit test with Cloud Build. I have a Docker image from Python. Then I install PyTest. Uh, I need to install PyTest custom exit code because uh, sometimes PyTest return an exit code uh, uh, that uh, break my GitLab job. And to prevent this kind of situation, uh, I install this package. Um, I also install some package from a requirement.txt file. Uh, my requirement.txt file is here. I have Apache Beam and some open source packages for, for my data flow job. And in this case, as I explained before, for Python, I only have the approach with a Docker file on all the package installed in the container. For Python, I have my working directory. Uh, I need to pass a setup uh, PY file because in my case, I deploy a Python package. It's not a single Python file. It's a, it's a Python package. And for Beam, in this case, we need to pass a setup.py file. I need also to pass the entry points of my, uh, my data flow job, the main file, the main Python file. And uh, I will install the Python packages in the container with pip install, et cetera, et cetera, uh, requirement uh, uh, txt. I need to pass also this, uh, this environment variable to indicate that all the dependencies are installed and no need to build every, every, everything after. And the entry point is the Docker file and the Docker example for Python. Um, to go after in the cloud build, I, I have this script to, um, with the same concept of the Java part, I have two shell script, one to publish the image to artifact registry and then create the flex template file. I have the same logic here. I have um, the build image, sorry, the build image with Docker. Uh, the same concept uh, done in the Java part. I have the jcloud build submit command. It will publish my uh, Docker file and Docker image to artifact registry for Python. And the same command to create only the spec file. Uh, for, the, for the run part, I have this command for Python. jcloud data flow flex template run. Uh, and in this command, I need to give the spec file and uh, some parameters, uh, some program arguments for my data flow job. I will show the same command with Java. I have the run data flow job. I have the same concept here. I, I give the template file and some parameters for my job. I will launch the unit test for Python. I go in my trigger. I have uh, this trigger, data flow unit test Python. I launch it. Then I will go to history. We have the unit test that will be launched for Python with PyTest. And we will also uh, deploy the flex template with Python. Uh, I have uh, uh, this trigger, data flow Python Docker file. I run it. I run my trigger. And after this, I will launch my job with Python. To save time, I will jump to the GitLab, GitLab CI CD part. Firstly, for the Java part. For GitLab, GitLab is interesting because uh, the 
CICD is interactive and um, it's very visual uh, at the contrary of uh, cloud build. Cloud build it's not very interactive and we, can, we can't have some dependencies between jobs. But with GitLab, we can have this kind of pipeline. I will launch an, a pipeline from the main branch, run pipeline. And here I firstly have a job to launch my unit test with Java. And we can go to the next job if the, the test fail in this case. And it's interesting with GitLab. To show the log with GitLab, it will take a few minutes to because it uh, installed in uh, Kubernetes. Before waiting the job to finish, we will go to the code logic of GitLab CI for the Java part. For GitLab, GitLab is based on YAML. Uh, we, we can create stages with GitLab and then create jobs. Uh, here is the syntax for the stages. The stages is represented in the DAG of GitLab CI here. Then we can create some jobs in a dedicated stage. Here I have a job called test. Test is launched in the stage test. In this case, I have access because I have an image from Maven here. I can launch my unit test very easily with MVN test. I can also have a concept of cache with GitLab uh, because uh, each uh, job is launched in a different pod and different containers. And sometimes uh, the Maven command are long and we, we don't want to wait for to build and download everything with Maven. We can have the concept of artifact and cache. I have this step, as I explained before, only the approach with Dockerfile works, worked with GitLab CI. In this case, I have environment variable with GitLab, and then I have a shell script to build my image with Kaniko. Kaniko, as I explained, before allows to build a Docker image inside a Docker container, Docker in Docker. Uh, I will show the script. I have the build image Kaniko here, and uh, I created my image from Kaniko executor debug, and I can launch this command with Kaniko. Uh, for Kaniko, I target on the Docker file. I give the destination path to Artifact Registry, to Cloud Build, and this is the command for Kaniko. I have the next job uh, will create the spec file in JCS. It uses the same shell script done in the Cloud Build part spec file gcs and is the it's is the same command sorry i think it's good and then uh, also a detail i created manual jobs for the deployment and to run the template and the job uh, to do that with gitlab we have uh, this syntax when manual uh, it's okay for the code logic of GitLab. My unit tests are finished successfully. Then I will build the image with GitLab and Kaniko. It will take a few minutes to instantiate the element. I can also go to my data flow job with Python. My job uh, with Java, sorry. My job is finished. Cool. Then uh, I will launch uh, the Python templates 
and pipeline. Uh, I go to the, the the trigger, and I will launch the Python template. Run team league Python template. It will trigger the Python template uh, with flex template. Okay. Uh, I go again in GitLab and I, sh I show the equivalent with Python and GitLab. For Python, I have my YAML file with GitLab. I uh, create my file from Python image. I have the same concept for the stages, the test, the image, the template, and run the job. For the testing part, uh, I have this element. I install PyTest and uh, install uh, uh, this element for PyTest and also the, package, the packages from the requirement.txt file. Then I run my test with this command. This command allows to test all uh, the, the launch the, the test for all the projects from the root of the project. I have the same concept with Canico here and the Docker file. And uh, the command normally is the same with Canico. I have the same command done in the Java part. Uh, we saw that the standardization is uh, really present with flex template. Same command from, for Java and Python, the same logic, the same orientation on the same direction. Um, I think it's uh, good for the code, jcloud build submit, and also uh, the element to launch the job I showed previously. It takes very long time to, to finish the, the publishing with Canico. Um, to, uh, to save time. I will go to the last tool of the talk. Uh, this tool is called Dagger. And for this use case, I choose to work with the Go SDK. Okay, to go to Dagger. Dagger is a classical uh, Go uh, file, sorry, classical go file. And uh, we only need to install the go package to work with Dagger.io. And uh, with Dagger, I can, I can use uh, uh, the, the multi-stages like in the Docker part. I will uh, Authenticate Dagger to Google Cloud. In this example, I used a token key, but it's not the best practice in Google Cloud because it's not very secure, but for simplicity, I use a token key in this case. Uh, with Dagger and multi-stage, I have this syntax, client.container, from a Docker image, and I have the host dir, it's the folder of my project, and I copy the host dir. I, I have a mounted directory, I mount this folder to my Docker container with Dagger in slash ecrc. I indicate the work tier is from the root, then I have uh, this first step with Dagger that allows me to, 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 um, to build the Docker image in Artifact Registry. I, I can pass with the Fluent Style, I can pass environment variables with Dagger.io and GoSDK. And I can execute a command with exec, via the, with exec method. I could also use a shell script, but in this case, I had an issue uh, with the, the working directory. That's why I used with exec in this case. I have the canico command 
And with Dagger, I have a trick here to, to indicate that the working directory is from the root. I uh, pass then the pass to the Docker file and the destination to artifact registry. I have this last step to create the spec file uh, with Dagger from Google Cloud SDK Docker image. I pass environment variables, and in this case, I invoke the same shell script done in the Cloud Build and GitLab CI CD part. I think it's good. Uh, it's okay for the, the code of the Dagger Java. I jump, it was the, the Python, sorry. I jump to the Java, the equivalent to Java. Um, I also have the, a script to, to run my flex template with Python and Java. Uh, it's a simple script. Uh, I create my source from the Google Cloud SDK image. Uh, then I invoke my shell script to run the data flow job. And it's done with, uh, with Dagger. Uh, the same with Java, the same logic with Java. I have the same logic, the same direction. Authentication, build a template image, create the spec file, and it's done. To go again to, uh, to GitLab, I will directly run the job to save time because my spec file already exists in the cloud storage bucket. Uh, before uh, waiting to, to finish, I will launch also the, the dagger command. Uh, for dagger, I have go run. I will directly run the data flow job with Dagger to save time with Java. It will take a few minutes to, to uh, instantiate the data flow template, but it's okay. The instantiation is good with, uh, with Dagger. I go to the data flow menu. I refresh my page. The Python job is um, currently running. Ah, it's finished, okay. The, the Python job is finished, good. And I have the Dagger, the template. I run the template with Java and Dagger. And no need to launch the, the Python part because the logic is the same. I will go to my side to, to compare the different approaches. Cloud build is interesting because it's serverless. It's totally and fully managed by Google Cloud Platform. No need a token key for authentication. It's interesting for the security concern. But the cons of Cloud build, there is no an attractive CI CD and there is no orchestration for our CI CD pipeline. We need to launch uh, some triggers. Uh, there is no interaction between triggers. It's not visual, it's not interactive. There is also a cons with the cloud build. We can't create some uh, YAML template and centralize some logic and share this logic between some, uh, uh, some cloud build job and triggers. Uh, it's not native with Cloud Build. And um, we have to, to deal with, uh, in our side, uh, ourselves. It's not perfect in this case, but we, we can apply the logic, but it's not, it's not native. To compare the approach, uh, GitLab is interactive. We can have some interaction between jobs manual jobs, automatic jobs, parallel jobs. Parallel jobs can wait for autom bef uh, 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 some automatic job before. It's interactive. We can click manually to launch some deployment. It's interesting. With uh, GitLab, we can also create some uh, 
template files and centralize some logic. We will put, we can put this template file to a dedicated GitLab repository. Then some project can pull the YAML template from a branch to use it. It's interesting for big project and sometimes for a, a big team. Uh, there is some cons with GitLab. If GitLab is installed outside of Google Cloud, it needs a token key for authentication. But if we install GitLab inside uh, Google Cloud, for example, in a VM or a GK cluster, we have Workload Identity Federation, and uh, GitLab CI can connect to the Google Cloud services without a token key via Workload Identity Federation, it's secure and built-in in this case. But if we use a GK cluster, the cost can be higher than some cloud build triggers. We have to choose between the robustness and the cost in this case. Okay, for GitLab. For uh, Dagger, Dagger has uh, the advantage to propose pipeline as code. Instead of YAML, we have a Go or Python and a JS code. It can be interesting. We can easily add some logic, like error handling or others. It only depends on Docker. It's popular now. Uh, the cons uh, with Dagger. If we use Dagger directly from Docker, it's not interactive. There is no uh, some interaction between stages and jobs, like uh, for Cloud Build. We can also use Dagger and integrate, integrate Dagger in an existing CI/CD tools like GitLab or others, because it depends on Docker. It can be uh, it can be pulled everywhere. But if we use Dagger directly, we need to authenticate Dagger to Google Cloud. And in this case, we can use a token key that it's not secure. And there is also the concept of Google Cloud ADC, application default credential, that normally allows to connect an element to Google Cloud without a token key. But to be honest, I don't tested it with Dagger on Google Cloud. Um, I think it's good. Here, there is some links to the project the, that I showed in this uh, talk. We, ha we have the Java uh, project, the Python project. I also write an, an article in Medium in the Google Cloud community to share uh, this use case for the Java Flex template. Um, I am going to write another article for Python and Cloud Build and some articles with GitLab and Dagger. I think it can be interesting for the community. Uh, to go again to the job, I think the job with Dagger normally is finished. Is finished. Good. And I think it's good. Thank you.